HDS professionals will never be completely replaced. There's always that need for that human touch to make sure that that document is accurate and complete. Um, speech recognition is truly a tool. It's a tool used on the back end by uh, MT, HDS professionals, and also in some cases on the front end by clinicians. Um, it's meant to be just that, a tool. We see that tool constantly evolving um, to provide a better draft document, but there's always a need for that human touch to make sure that the, the document is accurate and before presented to the patient's chart. There's been huge changes. There's been changes in technology. There's been changes in what the medical transcriptionist or healthcare documentation specialist does. Um, you know, we went from linear systems and, and you know, to, um, to, to Winscribe, I think, and then on to others and um, 3M. I mean, we go through so many different kinds of software. But then speech recognition hit. And, you know, it was sort of this big, bad, boogeyman that was always going to be coming in, but it's always going to be five years away. Um, but it was no longer five years away. It was here and, and now all of a sudden we had to figure out what to do with it. And so back-end speech recognition was implemented at my facility and my facility seems to be kind of on that, on that cusp of always bringing in the technology and so it was learning how to edit. And you know what, we tried to really appreciate all of the the mistakes that we would find because we just knew that that meant that our jobs were secure and that there would always be a place for us, um, whether we were editing or transcribing. So, um, so that was the first transition. And then um, not too long ago, 2012, 2011, our providers started creating their own documents. And um, if any of you have ever read a um, a doctor's note um, or seen some of those medical records, you know that doctors are not the most proficient in going back and reviewing those notes before they maybe blindly sign them. So we knew, we just knew that, you know, this was a really risky thing to do to let a provider create his own note without having that second pair of eyes, um, that expertise that a medical language specialist has. And so um, right out of the gate, we started looking at those notes and sure enough, what we were finding was shocking. Um, the errors were just, um, they were critical, critical errors that could impact patient care. And so we had the foresight then to start transitioning our healthcare documentation specialists into this new role um, of the healthcare documentation analyst or auditor. And so today I've got a team of about 30, 35 people who spend their time auditing clinician created documentation and they're looking for those critical errors. We've had to let go of the non-critical. It's very painful sometimes to see the spelling errors and the grammatical errors, but truly we have to focus on what is most important and that's those errors that could potentially impact a patient. There is not a technology that is going to ever replace the ability of a human to read, digest, and um, make sense of a patient's story. And that's why we're here.